it's better. May I come in? I can take a peep at the young gentleman. He is your grandson. Yeah. I'm just putting him to bed. Oh. He said he looks healthy enough. Hasn't he got rather a lot of hair? I thought babies were born more or less bald. I seem to remember you were. I think he'll lose that. Then it'll grow properly again. Oh. I'm very glad you've come home. He should sleep now. Are you pleased to be back? Not particularly. I'm being sensible. Well, you know, there's something to be said for that. You're always sensible, aren't you? It's your profession. Well, I try. You must feel very flattered having two young men fighting for your favours. How do you know that's not true? Well, it should be. This is Oren. Oh, I'm very pleased to meet you, sir. Are you indeed? This is it. My stomach is churning. Where do you want to watch you? Down there on the rails. All right, come on, can we? I've never been so nervous in my life. I have. When? When I was a fighter pilot in the Battle of Britain. <laughs> Did you, uh, put anything on? No. Did you? No. No fate? No money. No, he's coming up in the lead, Kate. He's coming up in the lead. Where am I? No, no, Come on. Young patient, but Aztec Boy is moving into third place, running towards the final quarter of a mile. And now Aztec Boy has quickly come on the outside to take up the running. So as they near the closing stages, it's Aztec Boy going on now. Aztec Boy from Tip the Top, Young Patient. These three will care of Boy Mark and Big G, then the early leader, Tip his tree. As they race up towards the line, it's Aztec Boy. Go on, go on. pounds on him. So did I. <laughs> <laughs>
Good meeting. Very good, yeah. What are you staring at? You. Yeah. Why? Guess what's in this paper. Oh, I know all about that. You do? Yes. My mother came straight over. She thought she'd won a million pounds. I doubt if the prize money will cover the upkeep of that horse for very long, but still, if she's No, I'm happy... not referring to horses. Oh, what I'm talking about marriage stakes. Marriage? It's mm. marriage. Voila. My God, Claude! Why didn't he tell us? I mean, why didn't he write or phone anything? Not jealous, eh? Lucky for you, you've got good old reliable Ken. Here in every emergency. Now, from now on, Jan, it's just you and me. The two of us. What could be better? No, Ken, you don't understand. It's not him marrying. I mean, good for him. It's who he's marrying. She's just about the biggest name in French fashion. I mean, is he going into partnership with her? If he marries into a French fashion house, how can he possibly work with me? Without Claude his designs, I may as well not bother. Oh, Ken, I need him. <laughs> Love will be